Coach, we're planning a surprise concept car for the London Motor Show. It's got 200 horsepower, it's turbocharged, weighs less than a ton, and it will do 0 to 60 in less than six seconds. Sounds like a proper driver's car. One thing, it's an iGo. Don't let that put you off. Normal Igo, front engined. Come and have a look at this. No engine. Instead, fuel tank. It's about 30 litres big, hand fabricated, very nice. So where is the engine? Come with me. This is from a Toyota Champ car in the United States, straight off, carbon fibre, which means it's expensive. And the engine is in here. Toyota MR2 unit usually makes 140 horsepower, but here it's turbocharged for 200. They haven't gone for the high revving uh, 190,000 RPM thing, they've just gone for the standard one, put a turbocharger on it, MR2 gearbox and MR2 suspension as well. Right, inside, a couple of changes as well. Right, there's a new steering wheel, Sparco, suede, extremely lovely. New seats, a bit bigger, better still, four point harnesses, only on the driver's side strangely. Uh, and new pedals down here, that's because it's got big brakes all round. These have got no ABS. Um, and there's no stability and there's no traction control. There's a full roll cage and I'm told there's a limited slip differential at the back, which means it should be an absolute riot. Don't know about you, I'm ready to go for a drive. Okay, we're in the Igo in the dry. Gearbox is great, steering is really heavy at low speeds, but as it gets faster, the steering gets better and better. It's just, it's unassisted. The steering was brilliant. It's quite slow at about sort of three turns lock to lock, but it's just oh, it's just so responsive. There's, there's loads of feel of what it's doing. It's got 200 horsepower and it weighs just under a ton. So it's quick enough without being really scary. A little bit of understeer which you can just push through the chassis. It's nice and neutral. Really quite nicely balanced. I don't know who set it up, but they've got it pretty much right first time. No servo on the brakes either, so they're really heavy. Nice and progressive. And it's a real riot, I can tell you, it's really good fun. Really, really good fun. So what have we learned? 0 to 60, this will do 5.9 seconds, which is pretty fast. Around this dry handling circuit, it's about as fast as a Lotus Elise. And around our wet handling circuit, it's a little bit faster than a Jaguar XKR, although it is about 10 times as difficult to drive. Probably as easy to spin as a 911 GT2. Um, if you want to see this car, it's going to be on the Toyota stand at the British Motor Show from July the 23rd. So I'd better get this car back to them so that they can fix the bits we've broken. Cheers.